In today's video, I'm gonna show you a very powerful push-up variation to build a bigger and stronger chest right there at home, but I'm gonna show you how to do it properly because one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they do this exercise with the wrong technique, they destroy their wrists, and then they go around saying, you shouldn't be doing it. Well, today we're gonna to look at how to do it properly once and for all so that you can get the benefit from this very powerful push-up variation. <laughs> Hey everybody, how you all doing? Peter Carvalho. Welcome to this week's exercise of the week. Today I'm gonna to show you an exercise that a lot of people might already know. What you might not know is how to do it properly. In fact, there's even people out there that tells you you shouldn't be doing this exercise at all because it's bad for your wrist joints, your elbow and your shoulder joints and can completely destroy those joints. But that only happens when you do this exercise incorrectly. Do it correctly and it will help you build a great looking chest right there at home, but also provide you of different angles so that you can combine this exercise maybe with normal push-ups to increase the effectiveness of your chest workout at home. So let's get straight into this. It's called the wide grip push-up. So let's first look at what a normal push-up looks like, the hand position. So it's just wider than shoulder width, and that's a normal push-up. Now what people normally do is they now use that same hand position, but just takes it wider. This is incorrectly because what you are doing right now is destroy your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder joint. What you wanna do is get back into that position where you were nice and in a wide grip position, but now turn your hands out. Now the whole movement becomes more natural and very easy to do. And now you'll just go down and up, down and up. And this is basically like a pec deck or a dumbbell fly. Now you can go wider, that will increase the intensity slightly, but also decrease the range of movement. So it really comes down to what you wanna achieve. I personally like to have a little bit bigger range of movement, so I'll bring it in a little bit closer and then I will go further down and all the way up, further down and all the way up. Let me quickly show you what it looks like from the side so you see what the rest of your body needs to do because the main thing here is what we call complete anterior chain tension. So you wanna contract like for example, your quads, you wanna contract your butt, your core, you wanna keep that whole front part of your body nice and tight. So let's go up so I can show you better. You wanna basically get yourself into a hollow hold position. Okay, so contract those quads, contract your core, you don't wanna slouch. That's the biggest mistake you can make. So get into that hollow old position and then from here, you will go down and up, down and up. And as you can see, it's a very natural and comfortable movement if you use the technique properly. So there you go, guys. Now you know how to do this exercise properly. If you do it properly, there's nothing wrong with doing this exercise. It's a very natural movement. There's nothing wrong with it. It's basically you doing a fly as you would do in a gym, like a dumbbell fly. So very natural movement if you do it properly. And now you know how to do that. So start playing around with it, enjoy it. It is a very effective exercise, especially when you combine it with normal push-ups to build your whole upper body in different angles of your chest as well. So let me know how you get on. Click on this like button. Please subscribe and have a great weekend, everybody. As always, have fun out there and keep it simple. Until the next one, bye-bye.